Good day, my people, my people, my people, my people. My name is Chief Strongblood, St. Vincent and the Grenadines' favorite and most hated son, the diaspora machismo. My people, recently, Braxter posted a video of a young lady who was given the opportunity to work in one of the road gangs to clean the side of the road for Christmas. And this young lady was put on camera to express how grateful she was to get this little wood rub. Listen to it. I'm grateful for this job. I'm grateful to be here working because I'm not working and this is first world work and I'm glad to be doing something. I can use the money now to get a tablet case and he needs a new shoes for school and I can get a big ham now and I'm so thankful to Braxa and I'm so grateful because I can make some new friends now and clean up the community because it needs clean. I live here so I'm, I'm grateful for doing that too. What this young lady don't know is that just a few years ago that this kind of job were done by retired farmers and retirees in our community to get a little extra money for Christmas to put on their pension so that they can have a good Christmas. These are the kind of jobs that the guys who are retired and hang out by the rum shop will look forward to at Christmas so that they can get an extra money to buy liquor for Christmas. But here we see the incompetent of conserves have bring our people to such a state where a youth like this girl who is willing and ready to work have not been working since she left school and now she get a little road job. She is at the bottom of the barrel where employment is concerned. She is thankful and grateful because she has been out of employment for so long. My people, this is what happens in California. When the Caucasians refuse to hire black men and women and they have been out of work for years upon years, they never get to work. Intelligent black men and women refuse to give them the opportunity to use their intelligence, to use their skills, and to develop their potential. And when they are given a little job to sweep the street in a neighborhood, they are thankful because these are intelligent black men and women and all they want to do is to contribute to the development of the country in which they live in, to contribute to, develop, to the development of their communities and to be able to afford the basic things without having to beg or depend on anyone else. This young lady is a young lady who wants to contribute to the development of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but she is denied the opportunity. So now she is given a little road job. She feel like she's contributing and she's getting a little money in her pocket without having to beg anyone. This is what Ralph Gonzales have brought our country and our people to. This is why Ralph Gonzales has brought our country and our people to. Where when they are given the lease of the employment in St. Vincent and the Grenadines to sweep the streets. Nothing is wrong with sweeping the streets. Someone have to do it. But we know traditionally in our country, the people that sweep the streets are those people who cannot really function in any other capacity. And sometimes in other cases, there are people who just want to do it because it pays a little better than some of the other jobs. So they will go and sweep the streets because it pays a little better than the other job that, that appear to be more classy than sweeping the streets. So they will, they will go down and sweep the streets to get a little more money 
But here we are where Ralph Gonzalez is giving our youths part-time job. Taking away the job from the elderly and the retired in the community. The farmers who will do this job in their community because they are accustomed to pull the cutlass and the, the hoe and the rake. So they will go and do it, make some other mo added money upon their farming job. Ralph Gonzalez is so incompetent that he has promised the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines that he was going to provide a thousand jobs in the first hundred days. Ralph Gonsav have never provided a job in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The man is incompetent. The man is a fool. He was a lawyer with a private practice. But his mama, his mommy, his mommy had to pay the rent he had his practice in. She had to pay his water bill, his light bill, his phone bill, and his secretary. Because the man was so incompetent, he could not even make a private practice successful. A one-man show, he could make successful. It was he and a secretary, and he could not even make it successful. So how do you expect? Well, Gonsav is going to run a country and he couldn't run a one-man private practice as a lawyer. My people. Ah, my people, my people, my people. Look at where Ralph Gonsav brought our country to. My name is Chief Strongblood. St. Vincent and the Grenadines' favorite and most hated son, the diaspora machismo. I'm gone.